Question 3. <coughs> Show that the derivative of sec x can be written as sec x 10x. <coughs> We've done this lots of times, haven't we? Sec is... Uh, it, let's, let's start by writing y equals sec x. And sec x is cos x all the power minus 1, isn't it? It's 1 over cos x. So I'm going to do that as a chain rule question. I'm going to say that if I find dy by dx, it is the chain rule. So the derivative of the, the whole thing, big bear as we occasionally don't call it, which would give us minus 1 times cos x to the minus 2, times the derivative of the inside bit, which is cos x. And when we differentiate cos x, oh, what do we get? We differentiate cos x. CD music system, brilliant, cos differentiates to minus sign. So that gives us minus sign x. Thank you so much. So the minuses have uh, disappeared here to give us a plus. We've got sign x over cos squared x, which is what you get if you differentiate sec x. You get sine x over cos squared x. Show it can be written as sec x, 10x. So we now need to show that it can be written like that. Well, that's, that's just saying... That's sine x over cos x, cos x, and the sine x over cos x gives us 10x, and then we've got 1 over cos x, and I've maybe done too many steps there, I didn't need to go into all of that. But there we are, we've ended up with 10x sec x. I think you could legitimately go straight from there to there, even straight from there to there, if we get away from there. Great. Um, find the integral. Now, Notice, this is part one and part two. So they haven't written hence, but there's an implied hence in there. That's quite important. So we're looking at this, and we're thinking, somehow along the way, because this follows this so closely, we must be able to use this stuff. And this stuff implies that if you integrate sec x tan x, you get sec x. There's a big hint in there. Look, we've got a tan x. I wonder if we can somehow show that this bit here is related to sec x. So let's work on that bit there. What can we do? We're interested in it being equal to sec x eventually. I can't remember what it was. Tan x of the square root of 1 plus 2. No, 1 plus 2 plus... Ah, 1 plus 2. Right, so we're going to think about that. Right, hang on, cos 2x, we know lots about that. Um, cos 2x is, <coughs> remember our core three identities, cos 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x, which means it also can be written as 1 minus 2 sine squared x, or 2 cos squared x minus 1, depending on how we, we break that up. So we've got, we've got three choices about what we do with this. I am interested in getting this to be to do with sec x, which is a, about cos x. So I'm going to choose that bottom one there. Let's see what we can do with that. Replacing cos 2x with 2 cos squared x minus 1. Well, inside that square root sign, we've got a plus 1 and a minus 1. So they get rid of each other. That's 10x over the square root of 2 cos squared x. Can you see the plus 1 and the minus 1 have gone? Now, the square root of 2 cos squared x is root 2 times cos x. And cos x is, as we've already established, 1 over cos x is sec x. So actually what we've got here is 10x, sec x, all divided by root 2. Or oh, the integral of 1 over root 2 times 10x, sec x. Just as we predicted, we've managed to get it in exactly the form that part 1 told us all about. Part 1 told us... 
that if you integrate sec x 10x or 10x sec x, you get sec x. So if we integrate that, we get sec x. Of course, we must put plus c because there were no limits in there. 1 over root 2 sec x is the answer. On the surface of it, it's, it's, it's a difficult question, isn't it? And, and especially, you know, if you find yourselves revising, flicking through the exam papers, <coughs> thinking, right, I want to do a difficult integration question with trig things in it, and you just notice that integral, you write that integral down and forget about the first part, then you really stop. You can't do it without the first part. It's all about linking together the part one and part two of the question, working through it like that. There we go. And that's maths. <laughs>